Embedding one component into another is a simple task in Blazor. For example, if I want to embed this counter component into index page, which is opened over here, I simply need to write the name of that component over here. For example, counter. And that's it. If I'm not going to place this closing bracket over here, um, I'll need to close it like this way. The same way we and the tags in HTML. And that's it. If I run this application, the whole uh, counter component will be embedded into my index page let me show you its behavior meanwhile don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the bell button and thank you for subscribing okay now you'll notice that whole counter component from this portion is embedded into my index page here and the working will remain same as it is here okay the main difference is that uh, through routing or through multiple routes we can specify multiple uh, routing URLs to a component but when we embed it we need to embed it with its real name the name of this component the reason behind is whenever we compile our application these components are converted into C sharp classes uh, let me show you for example the name is counter dot or you will hover the mouse you will not the name of my project blazor server app 2 dot pages the pages folder and the counter the name of class and that's why it's mentioned in green color okay uh, on the other hand if i want to embed this fetch component um, let me show you here i'm specifying an hr and i want to embed this fetch data and that's it uh, I don't need to write any further code. This whole component of fetch data, which is behaving like a separate page, okay, it is a complete page. Otherwise, I can also embed it in this way into my index page or the index component. Because I have already told you in my previous video that Blazor is a component oriented development mechanism. We make components for everything, for every user interaction. So we can embed one component into another and that's a really very simple task like you can see this is a complete separate page it's a complete separate page behaving like a complete separate page pointed through this url uh, you also notice in when i was working there in the vs counter i can also access this page with this url because multiple routes are set to the counter component but here on the index page i need to write its actual name okay and this is my fish data component which is called inside the index page and one more thing if you want to pass on the value from here you can through a parameter but for that there must be a listening parameter inside your component for example uh, this current count starts from zero i need to convert it into parameter I'm going to cover this topic properly in custom components video so but I want to give an overview at this point but when I'm going to convert it into property I need to make it public and um, the other thing I need to specify uh, get and start for this okay and zero will become its default value okay now because i have converted this variable into a property uh, and also i have specified a parameter attribute on that property now i can pass on the value the starting value of this um, what was the value current count current count for example i can specify the value 5 and on the other hand i can also write 3 over here okay and let's execute this project default value is zero and we are setting two different values from the index index component page okay here it is starting from five this counter is starting from three and the default value will start from zero 
So this was the simple mechanism to embed a component into another component. In the next video, we are going to learn about creating custom components and it's a very detailed topic. We'll, I'll make so many videos on this topic, so don't forget to subscribe and don't follow, forget to follow my videos. Thank you.